Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the APFC Bantamweight Division, sponsored by Hammond EMT. And now introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and officially weighed in at 136.3 pounds. Coming in tonight with a record of four victories, with one defeat, he is fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, by way of Rostov, Russia, Gian Sulia. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, and officially weighed in at 136.6 pounds. Coming in tonight with a record of five victories with two defeats, and fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Jorge Garcia. And your referee in charge is Rob Madrigal. Rob Madrigal, third man inside for this bantamweight bout. Gian Suliev and Jorge Garcia, Gian, you ready? formerly Jorge, grappling ready? partners, Go. now today opponents. Southpaw for Garcia, he switches stances, opening up with leg kicks. Friends turned enemies here tonight. Sometimes that's what it takes. No filling out process needed. We've been here time and time again, so let's stand oh! in the middle. Sulia with a knockdown. Puts him on his butt. However, Garcia looking to recover here. Attacks the leg. Garcia busted up by those offerings from Sulia. 30 seconds in. David, we had some questions on whether or not we're going to grapple in this. They've been answered. I just think these guys want to get out of here and fight. They're like, hey, we've done this I don't know how many times. Let's not waste any time. <laughs> Huge slam from Garcia as he is leaking all over Suliev, who's looking for the submission. Big slam by Garcia. However, that's not always the best way to get out of a triangle. Sometimes you can sink yourself in deeper. However, it worked out for Garcia. I think the cut and the blood actually kind of helped and worked in his advantage there. Garcia wearing a mask of crimson as he tries to grapple deeper and deeper onto Gian Suliev. Garcia, surprisingly to me at least, is getting the better of the, the grappling exchanges and the wrestling here in this fight, looking to take Suliev's oh. back. Garcia now looking for his own submission. Has the hook in under the throat. Suliev told us that he didn't believe in Garcia's grappling, but now he's fighting for his life. Garcia looking to make a believer out of everyone here tonight, not only with the finish, but the grappling dominance positionally. Got put on his butt, answered the call, got up. And now he's in a dominant position here. Look at the stretch that Garcia is enforcing on Suliev who's doing his best to survive, but David is still under the chin. It's under the chin. What Garcia needs to do here is not focus so much on squeezing. As, as when he gets his arm underneath the throat, he needs to pull his elbow back towards his rib cage so he doesn't burn his arms out trying to squeeze. Minor adjustment, but can make a world of a difference when you're there. Garcia alternating the choking arm, swimming back and forth, trying to silence Suliev. Here in the first round, 30 seconds to go. Talk about a pace that has been set, David. Sulia did a great job of hand fighting to make sure he can defend the choke. The second he got a window, hip heist over. Now he's on top position looking to land some ground and pound. Suliev with some ferocious striking, one of the bloodiest rounds in APFC history, potentially, David. I think it's safe to say, even though these guys train together, I don't oh. think they ever liked each other here, man. <laughs> oh! A kick from Suliev to put a stamp on the round. What a fun affair so far at 135. David Evans, that is a horrendous gash on the nose of Jorge Garcia. Ben, I might have to take this white coat off, man. I don't know, I don't know if it's <laughs> safe here tonight. Here's a couple replays from round number one. The big striking from Suliev early. A little bit of a clash of heads, and then the knockdown. A right hand. But Garcia minding his P's and Q's, David. 
Garcia, he did not hesitate. Once he got off of, off of his butt, he got right back into the fight, you know, was able to get into a dominant position. However, after those seconds of control, Suliev kind of weathered the storm. Hit Pais got on top and went right to work. I mean, there's no love lost between these two guys tonight. I like the offensive intuition from Gian Suliev as they were separating to throw that head kick. Beautiful. I mean, that was a veteran maneuver. I mean, it's hard to, to really chain strikes together there and just to get your synapses going to even think of that in the midst of a fight. Doctor stepping in to examine the cut on Jorge Garcia. Ben, the doctor is going to be busy tonight. <laughs> He's been earning the paycheck. I got to say that. I think the nose might be busted of Jorge, but if you asked him, he's probably going to want to continue. And we got to think that's going to play into the story of the fight here. If the nose is busted, maybe it's going to affect the cardio of Garcia here. You can't breathe out of your nose. It's going to be harder to control your rhythmic pattern there. Rob Madrigal, one of the best refs in the business, getting a set for... Round number two, Hammond Civic Center coming alive. Garcia putting the pressure on, but Suliev cracking the skull back. Garcia still just coming, marching forward like a bull in a china <laughs> shop, man. He just walking right through those punches, gets to his wrestling, in on the single leg with Suliev against the cage. I mean, he's in a, in a good position right now. These two bantamweights quite familiar with each other in a grappling regard, nice. Big toss there by Suliev, but Garcia riding with it, coming out on top. Beautiful defensive throw there by Suliev. However, Garcia able to manage and maintain position and, and ends up on top. Let's look for him to go to work and land some damage now. In the last round, we saw once Suliev got on top, his ego just took over and he was like, I'm going to use this to make a statement. Now Garcia is on his back. Looking to do some damage here. Let's see where he goes. Two minutes left here in the second round. Man. Jorge Garcia, more like Da Vinci as he's painting the canvas with only one color, red David Evans. But look at the control, right? Despite the damage that he's accumulated, he is winning these moments and exchanges against Sulia. Yeah, I don't think the blood, I don't think, you know, him getting tagged, I don't think that is going to keep him from wanting to go out there and put together an exceptional performance. And to come to that, that's the, the technical aspect comes with that. You know, he's a true fighter, he's a true Miss Martial artist, and that's a part of the game. Ken Garcia locking in this triangle position, but like you mentioned earlier, the full guard probably going to present, or prevent, excuse me, any finishing sequences. If you're Suliev, how can you get back to your feet? As he looks to throw up a triangle. So he was doing everything he needed, he was supposed to do. You know, he isolated the hand, brought it down to his opponent's hips, threw his legs up. He could have went triangle, he could have went arm bar. However, Garcia made the adjustments and is now back on the back of Suliev. This is another deep position for Gian Suliev to fight through. He does break the grip, but like Garcia did in round one, he's just alternating and threatening. Garcia got to this position in round one. You know, it looked like he had the chance to finish a few times. However, Suliev able to get his hips up and counter. If you're Garcia, once you get those positions, we got to put a stamp on and we have to position when we get our hips in. Suliev now on top, looking to do some ground and pound with Garcia's head against the cage, which is going to play a factor into his ability to stand up and counter here. Look like Suliev is trying to get some frustration out maybe on Garcia for all of these submission attempts and moments of control. One thing I can say about Suliev, when he gets on top, he's just a bully. He wants to just march through, head pressure, hit pressure, and just look to rain down strikes and do damage here. Suliev ending round two with more ground and pound. Round three between these two bantam weights up next. So, so far, I'm happy to be paid to be here and not in the judges seat because I can tell already this fight is going to be a hard one to judge if it, if it goes all three rounds. Replay here from round number two. This was, I believe, that toss from Suliev. Excellent form, but Garcia, right? Road with it, David. Beautiful Japanese hip toss there by Suliev. However, wasn't able to maintain position. Um, shades of Michael Pixley, the ADCC, <laughs> I believe, bronze 
third or fourth placer. He's known for throwing and stepping across and launching some of the world's best. And I mean, that was beautiful, a beautiful technique by Suliev. I wish he could have, you know, compounded on it. However, Garcia is not, you're, he's not going to be one to, to shy away easily. If you're in both of their corners, what would be the quick suggestion ahead of round three? Keep your hands up. I mean, that's about <laughs> all you can do. Cause so, I mean, somebody's going to hit the canvas. Just don't let it be you. From Rob, Rob Madrigal getting us set for this third and final round. What a fun, action-packed fight it's been between two former grappling partners as Garcia goes up with a kick and comes down to the canvas. Beautiful job by Suliev, throwing the foot to the right, coming down with the right hand at the same time. Now he's in a beautiful position with full mount. Garcia transfers, gives up his back, and able wow. to get... Man, this is like incredible to watch. Suliev threw up a submission at Guillotine there moments ago, but Garcia bulldozing his way to push Suliev all the way to the cage. Could you imagine when these guys train together, just being able to see this like every day? Oh man, like, I wish I could be a fly on the wall for their training sessions. Suliev sprawling out here nicely, reversing it. The pace that they've set, David, is one they've maintained from the get-go. Suliev gonna be able to manage the pace here. Now he has a figure four, you know, just kind of riding as a backpack on Garcia. These guys have almost been exchanging this position throughout the whole fight. It's like who who can get who's back first? Both guys have had big moments. Suliev trying to find a rear naked choke. But Garcia defending and turning into it nicely. 90 seconds to go. Talk about a fight that you wish you had more time to work with, right, David? Yeah, unless you're in it, man. I mean, <laughs> being in a fight like this, man, is no fun. Uh, I think both of these guys have had their moments, and I think at any minute, you know, someone can, we can see a finish, whether it's a rear naked choke. We've seen them put each other on their back when it comes to, you know, the standing part of element of the fight. Garcia has tried his best to reverse here, but he's been unsuccessful. David, how in these last 60 seconds can he turn the tables on Sulia? I mean, he's doing what he needs to do, attacking the figure four here, which is going to allow him to create space and transition on top. We've seen this counter from each guy in this position. <laughs> Everybody's able to get here, but no one's able to finish. I mean, Garcia, you're on top with 40 seconds left. It's not the time to be technical. Get his head against the cage and just make the judges think you're winning. Throw some punches, posture up, stay busy. Garcia trying to pick the right moment to posture up and rain down some fire. Suliev closing the guard and holding. Final 20 seconds here. Last 10, can Garcia make these moments count? What an affair at 135. Gian Suliev and Garcia go the distance, David. Wow. Um, I, I don't even know where to begin from a judging perspective. I think it's going to be a bit of a, a toss-up. I think you can give a, a slight edge to Garcia. I mean, finishing on top, that's always good. You want to look like you're finishing the, uh, towards the end of the fight there. I think he had some good moments. He got put, put on his butt there a couple times, but he fought through. And I just think... I think this is a toss-up, if not a draw. Yeah, certainly a fight where I'm happy to not be a judge. You'd think maybe with the first round and Suliev's knockdown and how he ended it quite strongly could bag it. Round two, deeply competitive. Both guys alternating moments with the submission attempts from Garcia, but the responses from Suliev. And then round three, like you just saw, again, same thing, just back and forth. In terms of body optics, though, I mean, Jorge Garcia up, walking around, seemingly more confident. Suliev just made his way back to his feet. 
Yeah, it seems to be a little bit gas, as as if anyone would be. But I mean, we talk about the difference between amateur and professional. You know, as a professional, that posture is important towards the end of a fight. When it, when it's this close, I mean, the the smallest glance from a judge and they see that, and then, you know, that can maybe sway them in any way. We did see some alternating 30-27 scorecards earlier tonight in that Marco McDonald and Dominic Heath fight. So it does remain to be seen what the standard is judging wise. As Sulia gets his shirt back on and heads to the center, we send it inside to Michael Hansen to find the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. The judges scored the contest. 30, 27, 29, 28, and 30, 27. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Gian Suliev. Gian Suliev advancing to five and one as an amateur. Gets the nod from the judges. David Evans, your thoughts on that decision? Interesting decision, um, I think. Optically, I don't think the judges could get past the cut and the damage. 